In Philippians chapter 2, we read that our attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus and how he humbled himself, even dying on a cross, paying the full price for our sins. Is Jesus making you more humble? Or are you willing to drop that pride? Zach Poonin said that sin came into the world through the pride of the devil, but salvation comes through the humility of Jesus Christ. Jesus was intentional to take out a towel to wash his disciples' feet in John chapter 13. And then he said, go and do likewise. If this is how the master does it, then the servants all the more go wash someone else's feet. Uh, We had a literal foot washing on a Good Friday service one time. And I ended up washing someone's feet and then also had my feet washed. I don't know which one's more humbling. I mean, it's strange to roll off a sock to get the water and the soap and really scrub down toes and all that junk that's, you know, stuck in between toes and clean all that stuff out. I mean, that's quite the job. It's kind of humbling to do that, but maybe even more humbling to receive it. Jesus wants us to be in a humble position so we do both. True humility does both. It enters in, comes underneath, washes feet, and it also receives what God has for you, humbly, teachable. So drop the pride. If you're a follower of Jesus, let him transform you to be humble. And let that stand out. You'd have the same attitude as Christ Jesus.